Hey there, it's Lynette Chandler from Thrive Anywhere. So today I want to show you a feature that we have on some of our newer planners uh, as in the PowerPoint uh, copies that you can very easily change the colors. I call this a one-click color change and I mean from time to time refer it to you know easy color change or whatever it is. Um, but we have learned how to utilize uh, PowerPoint's color scheme feature and maybe even later on we might consider uh, designing themes but basically um, the way this works is is just going to make color changing so much easier for you. So what I have here is one of the planners with this feature. As you can see, uh, this planner is, has a very minimalist style uh, color scheme, which in some ways make it a lot easier to vision and vision your color changes. And uh, but there is some very muted colors here. You see right here behind in this background, it's a very muted, um, like pinkish color. At least it, it looks like that on my screen. But the way uh, you want to change colors across all the pages super easily is to just do this. You would go to your design tab and then in your design tab, you will see all these themes. Now you could also click on these themes, but because we didn't design it with the themes in mind, so things might look a little different. But let me let me just uh, show you if I click on that and you see how even the text, the um, fonts have changed and so on and forth and of course the background is is darker than we want it to be so that's not what we want although you can utilize that if that's what you want so we're going to undo this for a little bit and, and come back to what the original theme is um, the best and fastest way really is to come down to this little drop down here and then it says colors and then now you see all these custom colors and on top of that you have the colors that come with uh, with PowerPoint. Now if you just want to check it out and see how it is, you can definitely click on this and you see how how all these have changed. The only difference, the biggest difference between changing colors here and changing the colors on the uh, theme is that uh, the text here doesn't change. Um, now especially if you have the fonts that we um, and you know if you have the fonts installed then everything will look the same except the colors but if you want to change the fonts uh, the the themes change the fonts as well all right so let's undo this or well actually let's let's try a different one to see I can go to grayscale if I want to and all this even though the design was originally pretty grayscale already but you see the background here instead of that light um, pinkish it's now turned into a gray or I can change it to something um, down here if I want to and you can see all these color uh, have changed uh, across the board uh, pretty uniformly but let's say none of these color schemes are the ones you want you have a brand that you want to um, adhere to one of the best and fastest way okay let me just come back to this is the original color scheme the best and fastest way I found is to just go down here to colors and just click customize colors. And from here, you'll be given the option to change all of the colors. Now, usually I'll leave, I'll leave the text and background as the text and background colors. And I know for a fact that all the black areas in this, uh, in this uh, particular planner is using accent color number three. So let me just change it to, oh, I don't know. Let's change it to that color right there. And then um, I'll leave the name as custom six and then I'll click save. Then now let me paste through some of these pages. You see how that those that particular accent color where all of it was black has also changed as well. So, you know, um, depending on the design of the planner, that might be sufficient. Um, but of course, you can further edit and modify this color if you want to. Now, one thing I just want to share with you, um, you can actually edit the color here. But for some reason, maybe it's 
PowerPoint for Mac or whatever, every time I try to change this color, it doesn't work as well. So I have to start from scratch. But um, I'll just give you another example and let's see if um, this will actually work or not. Um, let me do something like uh, that. But let me change it even more. I don't know. Let's do something here. Yeah. Something light like that, maybe. Okay. And now I save. So that is not okay. So as I said, for whatever reason, my PowerPoint, when I click edit, it doesn't edit. So I have to delete and start from scratch. You see how that color change did not like save. So this is not particularly a, an issue related to the planner itself, but the way how um, PowerPoint works. So one of the best ways really, if you have a color scheme in mind, is just to gather all your color schemes, all the color codes and, and do it one shot in a go. So for example, right now, instead of having so many color schemes here, I'm just going to delete these last two schemes. I'm going to delete that um, just so be <laughs> just because I like things to be to be um, uh, organized and that's just me. All right, so let's start from scratch. Let's say um, I'm not sure what color scheme I want. Uh, there are many, many color scheme tools out there. Uh, one of them is Canva. If I go, if you go, just go to canva.com and slash colors. In fact, let me back up one more slash colors. You will come to this page right here and you can click on this to get color palette ideas. And you can even type uh, a, a color palette here. Maybe if you want to see. All right. So you have all this and then show all results and it will show you all results with that particular uh, keyword in it. Um, but of course, there are plenty of other color scheme or color palette generators out there. All you need to do is just do a, a search search for it. So where was I just now? I believe I was here in this IC gradient. So perhaps I want to change um, this planner into that particular theme. And now I have to decide what is going to be my primary color for the planner. Um, I think maybe I want to go with that, this green. So I'm going to copy that, uh, color code right here. Okay. And let me just bump up back over here. And I'm going to start fresh with a new, uh, color palette. And I want to change this accent three to, I've got to use I think, oh yeah, I've got to do the sliders in order to paste this code. All right, paste that code and that's changed into that particular green. And then I have to decide where this light color is, um, what that color is going to be. So let me close that off and I won't save it first. Otherwise I can't edit it. So maybe I want it to be this little turquoise color copy that color code, pop back into PowerPoint. And um, I believe it's accent one. And I'm going to paste that in here. And then I want to change this accent too. Now for this particular uh, planner, there are not very many colors, so it's kind of easier. Um, but maybe I want that grayish here to be this lilac. Um, okay, and let me just start over because sometimes it doesn't take. And I'll paste it right there. Okay, and I'll close this. And, and then I'm going to save. And there you have it. You see how this, the entire planner has just changed colors just like that and basically that's how you use the uh, one click color change um, for the planners that have this feature you would just go to design and drop this down go to colors and either you edit the color that uh, the planner 
already comes with, especially if you can edit, because I do think this is an issue with the Mac PowerPoint. For some reason, the edits don't take, you know, they, they don't save. But if you can edit, that's probably the, the fastest way to do it. And if you want to uh, change it entirely, you can definitely create custom color palettes um, that you can just uh, change it with one click and the entire thing changes. All right. Thank you so much for your attention. And of course, you know, as always, thank you so much for being our customer. We, we absolutely appreciate you. Have a good day.